Total Pro Sports presents the 10 most hated NHL players. The NHL is home to the world's greatest hockey players from North America to Europe and all over Russia. Fans have a nice treat of seeing the best display their skills. However, some players are major jerks and or off the ice, sparking a ton of hatred from fans. Here are the 10 most hated players in the NHL. Number 10, Zdeno Chara. The 6'9 Boston Bruins towering defenseman has used his size to make everyone outside of Boston hate him. Though he's not that mean for a guy his size, Montreal Canadiens fans despise every bit of him after his dangerous check to Max Pacioretty. In fact, the Montreal police opened up an investigation on the incident, though Chara faced no charges. More than a half a decade later, and fans still don't forget how ugly of an incident it was. Number 9. Ryan Kessler on the ice, opponents would probably hate Kessler most because A, he dives more than an Olympic swimmer, and B, he's so good defensively that he's shutting down the top stars, frustrating the daylights out of them. Aside from that, there are plenty of allegations that he's been unfaithful to his wife many times and apparently slept with ex-Vancouver Canucks teammate Corey Schneider's wife, which resulted in the latter being traded to New Jersey in 2013. Assuming that's true, it's not cool. Don't do that under any circumstances, kids. Number 8. Sidney Crosby LeBron James, Bryce Harper, Cristiano Ronaldo, you get the idea. If you're extremely despised, chances are you're a great athlete and doing it right. Crosby has been the world's greatest hockey player for a decade, but he's not the classiest on the ice. He's earned a reputation as a diver, whiner, and getting treated like LeBron James, often favored by officials. But if people hate Crosby, it's because he's probably beaten their teams so many times. Such is life when you're that good. Number 7. Patrick Kane like Crosby, Kane has been a little too good. How can Philadelphia Flyers, Boston Bruins, and Tampa Bay Lightning fans like the guy who ended all three of their Stanley Cup championship hopes? Kane's been a megastar in the league, taking out some of the best teams in the playoffs. But the incident in 2009 where he assaulted a cab driver made a lot of people hate him. Though he was never charged with it, a rape case in August 2015 that involved him developed more haters, which is unfair. Then again, people will look for any reason to hate you when you're that good. Number 6. Alexander Burroughs If you travel to any of the cities that own an NHL team, chances are Vancouver will be the only one that has nice things to say about Burroughs. Despite being a star with them for many years and leading them to the 2011 Stanley Cup Final, his antics on the ice have been poorly received by fans. He bit Patrice Bergeron's finger, taunted opposing teams after winning games, and apparently made fun of Patrick O'Sullivan for being heavily abused by his father. If all that is true, then it's easy to see why people wouldn't like him one bit. Number 5. Matt Cook Cook was always a pest who got under people's skins, but he's been one of the dirtiest players in NHL history, always finding ways to deliver cheap shots. His vicious elbow to the head of Bruins star Mark Savard gave him a severe concussion that basically ended his career, and Cook received no suspension for it. In 2013, he stepped on Eric Carlson's skate, cutting his Achilles tendon. Get the idea now? It's easy to know why people don't like the guy. Number 4. P.K. Subban Subban is the complete package when it comes to hating a player. Great, loudmouth, poor antics, and somewhat dirty. He's been a major whiner, has over-the-top goal celebrations, which draws plenty of criticism, and slashed Mark Stone's wrist during the 2015 NHL playoffs, which was dirty and definitely unnecessary. Given how his Montreal Canadiens have an epic rivalry with a handful of teams, Subban is barely loved away from his home team. Number 3. Milan Lucic When you play on two of the league's most hated teams during your career, the Boston Bruins and Los Angeles Kings, it's hard to receive a lot of love. Lucic is hockey's ultimate power forward. The 6'4 beast has had to play physical to score goals, but his antics on the ice have been controversial. After the 2014 NHL playoffs, he allegedly told Dale Weiss of the Canadians that he would kill him. In a 2014 incident, he got into fight with a fan in Vancouver. Lucic has done a lot of great things off the ice, so he doesn't deserve to be hated when he's simply playing the game. But fans will often judge him for his on-ice behavior only. Number 2. Rafi Torres where do we go with Torres? He's a hawking player who plays with so much energy, but can't seem to stay out of trouble. He's delivered a number of cheap headshots to other players. He got a 21-game suspension for hitting Marion Hossa during the 2012 playoffs. He was suspended for 41 games in the 2015-2016 to season after a nasty hit to Jakob Silverberg. Need any more reasons to think why people don't like this guy? And number 1. Brad Marchand he plays for the Bruins, possibly the NHL's most despised team. But that's not the whole story. Marchand is a pest who always gets under opponent's skins, but plays dirty. Marchand has delivered victorious hits in his career. During the 2011 Cup Finals, he roughed up the Sedin twins badly, punching Daniel Sedin like, well, a boxing bag. 
He took out Sammy Sallow below the waist in 2012 and did the same clipping incident in 2012 to Mark Bietzky. Considering he scores a lot, fans will hate him if they aren't cheering for Boston. You probably get the idea now. Which NHL player do you hate the most? Tell us in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video, please click like. If you didn't subscribe, now's a good time to do so. We upload seven videos a week. As always, we thank you so much for watching.